Yo, King AK47 voice. Say hit the like button. Everybody make sure they hit the like button, man. Hit the like button right now. And if you ain't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. We almost at 184K. Hit the like button and subscribe. Let's get into it. Um, I think I was wrong. And you know what comes with being wrong, when you get new information, your opinion is subject to change. Now, I want y'all to listen close to me. When I was telling y'all it was a 50-50 chance that Melly could get found guilty or not guilty, that 50-50 is a mistrial. You can't have 6-6. Six, six. You see what I'm saying? So the odds of the mistrial were happening were great. See, I think the problem be when, when there be so many social media influencers telling y'all guilty, 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 it sway y'all opinion on what's really going on. Now, even I said, me personally, me, I see enough that I'd be like, you know what? They did it, man. But I always told y'all, do I feel that there was enough evidence for a jury of 12 to convict? I told y'all, no, I don't think so, man. And this is why there is a world. Y'all listen to me. There was a world Juan W. Melly and Portland come home. Now, we've been living off the assumption that, you know, since Melly team is blaming Portland, that it puts the whole mill on Portland. Well, I'm here to tell y'all, I don't think Portland ever going to trial. I don't think Portland's going to trial. What I think is going to happen is after talking to a lot of people, taking my time, coming together, collecting all the information and coming up with this video, I feel that there's not going to be enough evidence. I don't feel like that unless they come with some miraculous evidence out of nowhere because a lot of people is banking on Bortland's statement. Bortland ain't giving no statement. He's not giving the statement. I'm telling y'all, Bortland ain't giving the statement. Their, they whole plan from the get-go was to blame each other, to create reasonable doubt on each other. So Bortlett is not going to make a statement. Do we think they're going to find a murder weapon? No. If they find a murder weapon, will it change a lot? Yes. But do we think? No. Even with camera angles and all that, I still don't think Melly's defense can prove innocence to 12 jurors, nor do I think the prosecution can prove guilt to 12 jurors. I just think it's always going to be at least that one or two. Like I told y'all before, some people believe in science, some people don't. Some people believe in conspiracy, some people don't. Some people believe in hardcore facts, proof, evidence, somebody don't. We don't know who these jurors are going to be. And when you got 12 different people... It ain't, it ain't looking good for that. So what I believe is Melly's going to go back to trial and it's going to be another mistrial. It is. And after that, Bortland is going to strike a plea deal. And the charges is not because from what I'm hearing, I don't think the prosecution is willing to change Bortland's charges. And they can't... So, with the charges that Bortland has, he can't get found guilty. Melly has to be found guilty in order for Bortland to get guilty with the charges that he has. Now, my whole assumption was, okay, at the end of it all, they are going to charge. The reason why I made the video, Bortland is done, because I always believe they're going to change, regardless if Melly is guilty or not, they're going to change Bortland charges around to make sure he get found guilty. Because they can do that. Well, I don't think they're going to do that neither. I think they want Melly and it's Melly or nothing. So, with them, with me thinking they're not going to change Bortland's charges, I think Bortland going to take a plea to something way less. Like what we said last night on the live stream. Uh, tamper with evidence or something, uh, reckless, whatever, with dead bodies, something, man. The charges that they have on Portland 
even if Melly and Nomi is pinning, they can't, they, they, he doesn't have a murder. He's not labeled a shooter in no way. They're trying to say Melly shot the car up and whether Bortland or Melly did, they have no gunpowder evidence on nobody's hands. They got one on Bortland's shoulder, which it is going to look crazy to Bortland. That's why a plea deal is going to come. And a prosecution cannot afford two mistrials because what Bortlett's charges the way they are, he didn't kill nobody. And how is he accessory to a murder? Well, who's the killer? You have to find the killer for him to be accessed to. You have to figure out how the murder happened. And if you can't figure out how the murder happened, them accessory to murder charges even the murder charges is because he was around and helped the murderer. But who's the murderer if you can't find a murderer? So I'm telling y'all right now, y'all don't have to believe me. But when I kept telling y'all 50, 50, 50, 50, people was dogging me in the comments. They said they didn't know what I was talking about. I was damn near 100% sure that even though I, me, feel like, man, them niggas did it. It's looking bad. But that's to me. But I told y'all, to 12 jurors, bro, I don't think it's enough. We got different type of circumstantial cases. And this is one of the weak ones. It is. And they got to come out left field to, man, let's skip the BS. I don't feel like there's enough to prove innocence or guilt. And I don't believe Morton is going to court, man. And I'm starting to believe that Juby and Sack Chaser's case will be cold until they find a murder weapon. Because what I do believe is, after Melly go back to trial again, and I'm thinking a mistrial is gonna happen, the judge is gonna say mistrial without prejudice. Which means, yeah, we gonna let you out. And you not, you don't have to go through nothing. But if we find a murder weapon, or any significant evidence, that, that's gonna tie you to this murder, we gonna bring you back and recharge you all over again. Y'all, there is a world, man, that Melly and Bortman eventually, whether it's a year, six months, three months, whatever, that they both gonna come home, man. And there is a there is a world where Juvia Sex Chaser murder may turn into a cold one, man. They need that murder weapon, bro. The state of Florida with George Zimmerman and all them. The Florida don't play. I'm looking at it like juries in Ohio. They would have found this man guilty whether it was 9366. It still was enough not guilty. I don't see a new new jury coming in, man. Now, I know I'm about to have a lot of hate in the comment section. Oh, AK, you don't know what you're talking about. They're going to find him guilty. They're going to find him guilty, are they? Or are you hoping? Because you're putting your hope in the hands of 12 people. If you put your hope in the hands of you, he guilty. Some of y'all, if you put your hope in the hands of you, he not guilty. It may be a way that Bortland and Melly come home neither guilty nor not guilty. Not exonerated at all. But they free. And if that murder weapon don't pop out, they ain't getting back charged. I'm here in Bortland is not planning to go to trial. He never was. Regardless if Melly get found guilty, Melly innocent, or Melly get a mistrial. And especially if another mistrial happened, the prosecution don't got time for another mistrial. And they don't got time for a not guilty verdict. Bortland may cop a plea deal. Now, whether that's to probation a year, two years, three, five, ten. Whether Melly cop a plea deal, one, three, five, ten. He got all that time served. That still ain't life. It's a world where them boys may be home. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Y'all make sure y'all share this video, man. Y'all know I cover all angles from it. And I give y'all my personal opinion. But I also separate it. And let's talk about the real deal, Holyfield details we got, man. Follow me on Instagram at KingAK47 underscore. Uh, let me know in the comments section how y'all feel about this video, man. I'll holler at y'all in a minute. Big King AK47. I'm out.